I wanted to add one thing to 3.7, and that's I wanted to show you Kramer's rule. Um, this is also in 3.7. Um, what Kramer's rule is useful for is solving a system of equations with three variables, and it's, you can solve it really, really easily by using a matrix. So let's say we have like so, and usually when you want to solve this, it's actually really, really difficult. Um, but it doesn't have to be if you use matrices in Kramer's rule. So what Kramer's rule says is first, evaluate the determinant of the coefficients. So choose all the coefficients, four, three, two, or three, four, two, or it's negative four, four, one, negative five, two, negative three, one. I'm just taking these coefficients. And now I'm gonna take the determinant of that. That's the first thing I have to do. Um, and of course, I'm gonna use my calculator for this. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Gonna have to edit it. I want a three by three matrix. Three, negative four, two, four, one, negative five, two, negative three, and one. Quit. Now I'm gonna evaluate the determinants, but second matrix, math, determinant, second matrix, grab that, that matrix A. And that's going to tell us it's negative 14. Okay? Now, that's useful information because we want to solve for the x variable. We are going to set up a matrix as so, like so. So if we want to solve for x, we're going to put the determinant of that co those coefficient matrix on the bottom, so negative 14. And on the top, we're going to find the determinant. That's what these lines mean here for everything except the x column. We're going to replace this with the x column because that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna write in this new one, which is um, 18, negative 13, 11. And then we're just gonna replace these where they go. So negative four, one, negative three, two, negative five and one. And I probably should have put, I probably shouldn't have drawn that in yet. Okay. Um, so to find X, you're gonna find the determinant of this new one. Remember the X values are replaced with the solutions. The other ones are just copied down as they are because we're only looking for X. So that's something we're gonna plug into our calculator to find that determinant of the top values. Edit. Let's make a new one though, so we can actually divide the top by the bottom quite easily. So let's edit this new one, it's called a three by three. Say 18, negative four, two, negative 13, one, negative five, 11, negative three, one. We'll quit. We will find the determinant of that. So math, determinant, matrix B, that's the one we want. That's negative 28. So X is negative 28 over negative 14. The answer is positive two. Now we're gonna do that for the Y values as well and the X values. Remember, this is an alternative way to solve a system of equation with three variables. Whether you like it or not, I mean, it is an option for you when you're starting, trying to solve these. So let's try to find what Y is. So we can say, we know it's gonna be divided by the coefficient matrix, the original one, that's negative 14. On the top, we want um, three, four, two. We're just copying that down. We're gonna swap the Y's now for the solutions. So 18 negative 13, 11, copy down the Z's. Got to go into our calculator, edit that matrix. Um, let's just edit that matrix B again. Three by three, yep. Three, 18, um, two, 
4, negative 13, negative 5, 2, 11, 1, quit, second matrix, math, determinant, B, we get 14, so our answer is going to be 14 over four, negative 14, and our answer is going to be negative 1. And you're going to do the same exact thing for z, except you're going to swap out the z values with the solutions and solve the same exact way as this.